Ever dream of a life of romantic adventure? Want to get away from it all? We offer you Escape. Escape, designed to free you from the four walls of today for a half hour of high adventure. You are standing guard deep in the forests of Africa, while around you, closing in on you, are the dreaded Mau Mau, who, if you relax your guard, will kill you. Listen now as Escape brings you John Daner's terrifying story, Lily and the Colonel. <laughs> I first met Colonel M.O.V. Abernathy at the Rift Valley Club, Kenya Colony, East Africa. The Rift Valley Club, being a particular club of particular people, frowned with beetling brow upon the occasional invasion of its dignity by people like myself, unqualified, of no particular family or traditional distinctions. Possibly because I was a Sandhurst man, a lieutenant with the Lancashire Fusiliers had something to do with my invitation into the hallowed circle. At all events, I was invited, and I went. Sandhurst, eh? Yes, uh, that's right, sir. Sandhurst? <laughs> I was at Sandhurst myself, 1917. Oh, that's her, sir. Well... Mm, still turning them out the way they used to? Uh, not knowing how they used to turn them out, I couldn't say, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Capital. At least they turn them out with humor. The only thing has kept me alive, a sense of humor. Yes, I can see that. Sent down from Suez, were you? Yes, sir. Yes, How so... is old Suez? Uh, haven't been there for 14 years. Oh, as it always has been, I suppose. I don't imagine it would change much. And now you are here to save us from the Mau Mau. I'm quite sure you can save yourselves, Colonel. Of course we could if it weren't for the bunglers and their... <coughs> for their, for their bungling. The second time I met Colonel Abernathy was under quite different circumstances. My patrol had been called to the farm of one James C. Curry to investigate a murder. On the way, I stopped by Colonel Abernathy's house and brought him along in case identification was needed. He knew everybody in the valley. It was difficult to identify, but on viewing the remains, the colonel decided that since the boots were of crocodile leather and his friend had a liking for crocodile boots... The sum of the two must add up to the body of James C. Curry himself lying under the rose bush. Neither of us said a word as I drove him home. Come in for a moment. Oh, thank you, sir, but I really should be getting back to quarters. Nonsense. Lancashire Fusiliers won't cease operations because their brightest officer isn't back on the dot. Well, anyway, you, you need a drink. Uh, well, I could use one, sir. Good. Gabby! Colonel of Netty, you back, Buana? Tell your mistress. She have blast headache. I tell her you come back. Headache? Always having a headache. Oh, sit down, Temple. I'll have your drink in a moment. Oh, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, incidentally... Uh, while your boy is out, may I ask, sir, is he Kikuyu? Gabri? No, he's Jalua. Hmm. I think his tribe is Jalua. Here, I'm giving it to you straight, sliced through any fog. Thank you, sir. Yeah, um, you're not sure he's Jalua? Well, uh, I'll ask him when he comes back. Now, young man, a toast to James C. Curry, as fine a man as ever breathed. Dead today at the hands of the Mau Mau. James C. Curry. Mrs. Abnetti say headache much better. She will come in a moment. Good. Uh, Ingumbi, 
Lubana will have another whiskey. Yes, Bona. I will fix it. Oh, thank you, sir. Very good. I tell you, Temple, that... Uh, I beg your pardon, Colonel, but uh, could you ask... Uh, 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 who? Yes, yes. Uh, Gabriel. Bona. What are you? Bona? Tribe. What tribe you belong to? Uh, I am Jalwa. Do the Jalwa have Mama? What the devil do you do that for? Don't stand there quaking like an idiot. What do you say? Mao Mao is only Kipsi and Kikyu. I am Jalawa. Jalawa. Very well. Now give Mr. Temple his drink and then get out. Yes, Bona. Drink one. Blasted idiot. I don't believe him. Hmm. You think he's a Kikuyu? I do, sir. And the sooner you get rid of him, the better. Every head boy a Mao Mao, is that it? If I'm right and he is a cuke, then it's quite possible that he is also a Mao Mao. And if he is Mao Mao, he'll chop my head off. Weak, sir. Weak. It happened to Curry. It could happen to others. You still want to save me? I'm only here to do what I can, sir. It is my job. Young man, what happened to Curry needn't happen to me. There are still those who know how to handle this thing and alone if necessary. In my day, we knew how to keep the old wog in his place. Full justice, mind you, but also this. Uh, that pistol of yours may have seen its day, sir. You know, times are changing. Only because men have become too weak to prevent it. I'm surprised that you, a Sanders man, should have failed to grasp the fundamental, tra fundamental traditions that gave strength to the empire. Of what empire, sir? What empire? Blast it, the empire! Oh, Julian? Julian? Have you seen Tabikins? I don't know where that cat can be. It was the colonel's lady. She stood half in shadow in the doorway with something of a smile on her lips. An attractive woman, I thought. Perhaps 45 or 50. But when she came towards us and the light fell on her, I could see that what might have been attractive was only an illusion of powder and rouge heavily proportioned and badly applied to an aging, unhappy face. Oh, my dear... May I introduce Mr. Charles Temple? Oh, how do how you do? do? Mrs. Please sit down. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, I was just leaving. Oh, no, no, please. It isn't often that I have an opportunity to talk to a handsome young man. And from the outside world, too. Oh, well, I... I uh... What happened today, dear? Why did you run out so quickly? Uh, Julian never tells me anything. I'm always in the dark. Well, I'm afraid that I'm responsible today, Mrs. Abernathy. I needed his help. Help? Uh, Mr. Temple will tell you. Uh, I'm off to bed. Good night. Uh, good night, sir, and please think over what I said. Get rid of your boy. Young fellow, I like you. But as for your advice, I shall handle my affairs my way. Good night. Are you a difficult man, Mr. Temple? I, I beg your pardon. I mean, I hope you're not like Julian. You know, bouncing about and exploding. Oh, I don't suppose I am, quite. I should be disappointed if you were. And what was it Julian said you'd tell me? Um, one of your neighbors was killed today. Killed? Who? James Curry. Uh, Jim Curry. Jim Curry? Who'd want to kill Jim Curry? Why? Why? Oh, Mrs. Abernathy, please. Oh, no. No, I... I'm quite all right. Uh, how did it happen? Mama. Mama. There must be a way out. There must be a way out. Yep. There must uh, be a way out. Let me get out. something. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, here, you drink this. Thank you. Better. Oh, that's better. Yes. Well, I, I, I hate to, but I, I must go now, Mrs. Abernathy. No, please, please don't. Sit beside me. Um, well, let me call the colonel. He can be with you. But he can't help me. Uh, more than I can, I'm sure. Now, please, would you let me... lay broken at our feet, a cat strung up by the neck to a willow branch, 
Mrs. Abernathy's cat. And outside, somewhere in the dark, beyond the shattered window, were those who had done this thing. It was the Mau Mau. I heard the colonel behind me as I ran out of the door. The moon was huge in the sky. It was shining down with a blue-white light, and the beauty of the clearing became suddenly terrifying because of what we knew was lying hidden in the dark trees. Probably miles away by now. Yes, I'm afraid so, sir. Wait. What? Got him. Come on. Hey, you recognize him? Never seen this one before. Got him in the stomach. We'll get him to a hospital right away. He's a big devil. Take him under the shoulder, will you? We'll carry him to the car. I took him to the nearest clinic at Naivasha. All night he hovered between life and death. All night I questioned him vainly, and much of the next day. And then, toward the end, I asked him if he knew he was dying. He rolled his head toward me, and the look in his eyes showed me that he knew he was. It was then that all my questions were answered. Name? Matemba. Tribe? Kikuyu. Mau Mau? Yes. Family? One brother... And this brother was Colonel Abernathy's head boy, Ngumwe. Colonel Abernathy! Colonel Abernathy! Who's there? It, it's Temple. Oh, oh, thank heaven it's you. Come in. I, I'm all alone. And where is the colonel and Ngumwe? They've been gone all day. They left me alone. I've never been so terrified in my life. Will you be back soon? My tabikins and, and the shooting... Oh, oh, yeah, yes, they, they'll be back soon. And I shall wait for him, then. He, he gave me a pistol and said I must carry it with me until he comes back. He's wise. I hate guns. They're for killing. Oh, do, do sit down, Mr. Temple. I, I must look a fright. No makeup and this old gown. You, you must think I look a fright. Oh, not at all. You, you look very well indeed. Well, thank you, kind sir, she said. Uh, um, uh, may I make you a drink? Oh, no, no, thank you, Mrs. Avenatti. I think I shall have one. If I don't look out, I shall become a drunkard. A solitary drunkard. Oh, I, I'm sure you're much too sensible for that. Julian doesn't think I'm sensible. He calls me silly. <sighs> That'll make me feel much better. You're awfully nice. You're not like the other men. You seem very kind. Oh, well, I, I'm not really. No, quite the opposite. I beat children the second Tuesday of every month. <laughs> <laughs> I gather you're... You're married, then? Somebody in England? Uh, no, I'm not married. Uh, Mrs. Abernathy, I have something to tell you. I thought of waiting for the colonel, but since you should know about it, no, too... If, if it's anything unpleasant, I, I won't hear it. It concerns you very directly. You should listen. No, 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 no. We shall talk of everything, but not about Kenya or Africa and... Colonels and poor unhappy black people and... and everything. Very well. I'll uh, wait for the colonel. Oh, now you've been wounded. <laughs> the handsome soldier has been wounded on the battlefield of the sexes. <laughs> Here, drink from my glass. Here. Hmm? Oh, now, now, ju just a sip. <laughs> All right, then. Uh... Just, 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 just a sip. There. Jim Curry thought I was attractive. Am I attractive, Charles? 
I... Yes. Yes, of course. I mean, to you. Well, after all, you you are a married woman. Well, you know... No, it... no, no. Sit quietly and listen. If I told you that you're the handsomest man I know, and if I told you that I was in love with you... Oh, Mrs. Abernathy... Would you take me away with you? Oh, please. Would you... Would you put me in your pocket and and take me? Uh, of course. Yeah, right in my pocket. No. I... I don't feel very well. I... I think I shall lie down. Oh, Temple. Oh, sorry I couldn't be here when you came. Where's Lily? Uh, she's not well, sir. I think last night was a bit too much for her. She's uh, resting, sir. Well, tell me. What happened to the beggar you shot? Man died this afternoon. Mm hmm. Uh, incidentally, I was right about Ngumbi. How do you mean? We questioned the native all night. And just before he died, he confessed that he belongs to the Mama. Well, what has that to do with Ngumbi? They're brothers. Hmm. And he is a Kikuyu after all. Yes, sir. Get rid of him. But quietly, we don't want to aggravate the situation. Dying devil. Don't worry. I know what to do. Uh, one more thing. I want you to place a light in your front window, sir. Oh? What for? Well, we shall be patrolling the valley tonight, and we'll have a clear view of your home most of the time. Uh, should anything happen, you turn out the light. We'll know then that you're in trouble, and we'll be along in a jiffy. Right you are. Yes, well, uh, I must be off now, sir. Good night, Colonel. And please be careful with Ngumbi. Uh, goodbye, Temple. Now I must piece together the remainder of the story from details related to me by Ngumbi himself. I, I thought of it many times, and although Ngumbe was punished for what he did, I cannot in good conscience hold him totally responsible for what went wrong. Ngumbe! Yes, Buana? Come here. Buana? Ngumbe? You're a liar. Buana? What do you mean? You know very well what I mean. There was a man shot here last night and he was your brother. No. My brother on the reserve. He died this morning and he said he was your brother. My brother died? Moreover, you belong to the Kikuyu tribe. No. no uh, Jalo. You will die to my face, you dog. No, 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 no. Maybe some Kikuyu. But I could have both. I do not tolerate lying by anyone. Buana, please. You shall be punished for this. I hope you can at least stand up your medicine. Medicine? Put your hands to your side. Your side, I said. Stand straight. <laughs> that will teach you to lie. Now, get your things together and get out. I shall pay you when you leave. I said, go. What a... If you hit me with hand closed, it is good. Then I am a man, too. But you hit me with open hand. That make me not a man. Gav! You tell your mama dogs that if they want the same medicine to come to me, and I'll give it to them. Get out. Dogs. Oh, the whole lot of them. Shoot the whole lot that we can do to them. What are you doing, Julius? Oh, well, what? Uh, oh, you startled me. I'm moving this lamp over to the window. What for? What's Temple, the lamp for? Temple wants it to remain on all night. Oh, such a lovely young man. Will you listen to what I'm telling you? Mr. Temple wants it to remain on all night, I heard. Why? 
If for any reason you need Mr. Temple's help, you're to turn it off. He'll see it and come to you at once. How nice. Turn it off and he'll come to me at once. Did he really say that? Yes. Now, another thing. I've dismissed Ngumbwe. I know. I was watching through the door. Well? I saw you strike him. Bravely. Colonel... Don't say it like that. It's the only way to make him understand. It's the only way they understand who's master. There's too much mollycoddling with these people. Is there? Oh, no matter. Uh, where's your pistol? I don't know. I don't care. Oh, in the name of heaven. I told you to carry it with you at all times. Can't you understand it for your own good? Here. Take mine. I expect you to keep it with you all the time. Do you understand? I won't have it, Julian. It's for your safety, Lily. I don't want it. It's hateful. Everything here is hateful. Lily? I'm leaving. I'm going away. Far away from this house, from Kenya, from you. I've been drinking. Yes, I have, and I'll have some more. Stop it, Lily. Give me that bottle. Sorry. Sorry. You're sorry. You don't know what it is to be sorry. I've been sorry for 25 years. I'm sick. I'm sick for living with you. The way you stand, the way you walk. Parade grounds. Always on parade. <laughs> That's right, run away. Go on, you never talked to me. You never did. You never gave me anything. Anything signs, anything nice. Tell me I love you now because I don't. I don't want it. Do you hear me? Go on, run away. Go on, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I'm going. I'm going away. You're not a care. Oh, you're crazy. Evening, Juana. Who's there? Who's there? You hear me? Bastard, do you hear me? Bastard, do you hear me? Where are you? Ngumbi? Is that you? Ngumbi? Is that me? I'm armed. Come closer and I'll shoot. I can see all of you. I can see you. I can see you back. You're not armed. Look, you forgot pistol. Bastard. Ngumbi? Listen to me. I forbid you to do this, do you hear? Stand out in the open where I can see you. <laughs> You're a coward, Ingombe. And I don't deal with cowards. If you have grievances, we shall talk them over as men. You hear me? Today you hit me. You make me not a man. I struck you. You deserved it. Now, stand out in the open where I can see you. Be a man, bastard. Ngumbe! Ngumbe! I say, come out of here! Julian? Julian, I know you're out there. I mean what I say. I'm going away. Julian? Oh, very well. Don't answer me then. But you're a fool. You could have kept me. If you are kind. I only wanted kindness. Mr. Temple was kind. I... Oh. Oh, how stupid of me. The lights. Julian said he'd come to me if I... Turned off the lights. <laughs> now he'll, he'll come to me. <laughs> Charles Temple? Is that you? Oh, you must have been waiting just outside. It is you. 
It is. I can see you. Oh, you come for me. <laughs> Did you come to take me away in your pocket? Go away. What? No. 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 When I arrived with the patrol, the house was dark. I then found the colonel lying dead in a thorn bush. I found the colonel's lady, poor unhappy woman, at the screen door to the veranda. There was a strong smell of whiskey about. I turned my head away. Under the direction of Anthony Ellis, Escape has brought you Lily and the Colonel by John Boehner, starring Ben Wright as Charles Temple, Paula Winslow as Lily, and Ramsey Hill as the Colonel, with Dave Young and Lou Krugman. The special music for Escape is composed and conducted by Lee Stevens. Next week. You are on a paradise island, living in happiness and freedom. Of the woman who loathes you for what you are is planning to take away your freedom and forever put an end to your happy life. So listen next week when Escape brings you Somerset Maugham's unusual story, Vessel of Wrath. <laughs> The Lux Radio Theater and Suspense are putting on two of their top shows of the season. Suspense presents William Shakespeare's Othello with Richard Whitmark as the star. And Lux Radio Theater brings you Wait Till the Sun Shines Nelly with David Wayne and Gene Peters. Remember, that's on Monday night, Suspense and the Lux Radio Theater on most of these same CBS radio stations. This is Roy Rowan speaking. And remember... America now wakes up to 3 million clock radios and listens most to the CBS radio network.